What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this gauntlet shield. Let's get to it. Alright, first thing you're going to need is a big piece of plywood. Mine measures out to about 34 inches, and half of that is 17, so I made a mark at 17 inches. The width of mine measures out to 11 and a half inches, and yours is going to want to be at least 5 inches or more. Alright, so I have a line drawn down the center. Now each half should be a little longer than your arm in this position, since it needs to cover this entire part of your arm. There's something definitely wrong with my jigsaw blade, so I'm just gonna clamp the two pieces together to the table and use my belt sander to sand this down. Rest in peace, belt sander. Rest in peace. You've served me well. Alright, so I got this piece of angle iron clamped up in the vise, now I'm just going to use this angle grinder to cut it out. I think I'm going to cut it so that it's at about 8 inches. Alright, so since I don't want the shield to be at a right angle, I'm going to try to put this down on a flat surface and try to hammer it a little bit to see if I can... Uh, make the angle a little more acute. Ooh. All right, I got a weaker piece of angle iron. It's not as thick, so I'm gonna again cut it out to eight inches and try to flatten it out. Or no, not flatten it out. Make it a more of an acute angle. All right, so I got the angle. A little more acute as you can see so now I'm just gonna line it up on the wood and screw it together all right so I have the, uh, the four dots marked now I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna drill them with a 3 16 inch drill bit all right since I'm gonna be using these nuts and bolts I'm gonna need to countersink each hole just a little bit I'm actually cutting off about three inches from each side. So I cut along that line, and now I'm gonna cut along that one. All right, next part is the handle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of PVC. This one's about 12 inches long, about a foot long. I'm gonna heat up about an inch to two inches in on either side, and flatten each end out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the angles at where they flatten out and press it up against the angle of this, and this will create the handle. Alright, so I have a simple problem, but also a simple fix. So I made the handle, but there's not enough room to get my hand under to even make it comfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the off cut when I cut off that three inch space from right here, and I'm gonna cut out two one inch by one inch squares and then drill a hole through the center. I have the pieces cut out and drilled through the center. Now I just gotta drill through the center of each flat piece of, of each end of the PVC. All right, I have the spacers in. All I gotta do is completely screw on the handle. So I drew out these rectangular pieces, each one's 4, four inches by 12 inches long, and I'm going to cut these out with a knife. Alright, so I got the foam pieces cut out, and I'm just going to use some Gorilla Glue to, atta to attach them to the back of the shield. Okay, so Gorilla Glue didn't work very well, but I just used a bunch of hot glue all along the sides, and that seems to work pretty well. Then I put a piece of duct tape down the center just to cover up the split between the pieces of foam. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of belt and I'm going to use a washer and a screw to screw it on from around here to about there. And then there will be just the belt going across that like that. And then I'll put my arm under that and hold on to the handle there and it should keep my arm on pretty well. Okay, 
Okay, so from corner to corner is about 16 inches. So I'm going to take some of this angle iron and cut it to 16 inches, which is right there. So I'm going to clamp it up and cut it with the angle grinder. Alright, so after I put on the piece of 16 inch angle iron, I took a piece of 8 inch angle iron and used screws and washers to screw it onto the, onto the front of the shield. And now this is a really sturdy, really strong, uh, like smashing angle right there, so you'd be able to smash things with it. Alright, so I got this long piece of rubber tubing from a bicycle tire. Now I'm going to wrap that onto the handle to give it a better grip. Now if you're awesome like me, you can just do this. And now I'm done. Now I'm just going to use the angle grinder to cut off these corners. Uh, here, 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 and here. Alright, so I added this ridge to the top of this. I got a long piece of angle iron, about as long as this, which was probably like 15 or 16 inches. And then I bracketed it on with some straps of aluminum right there and just screwed them on. So this isn't legal, it's only held on by the bracket, but it does not move up the Alright, now that the glue is dried, it's time for some testing. The first test, I'm going to be using this steel-tipped arrow with my PVC bow. Okay, pretty good. Did not go all the way through. Oh, that's pretty good in there. The bow is really powerful. I have it epoxied in the arrowhead, so you can't pull it by the shaft. There we go. Only a little dent in there. Only one in about like an eighth of an inch, maybe. Number two, axe. Or hatchet, I guess. Spike. Yeah, pretty good dent. Blade. Just some cuts. Dents. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.